Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our maths class. Today's topic, vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines. For our starter activity, take a look at this picture and count the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. Pause the video and do the activity. Time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. In this picture, there are six vertical lines, two horizontal lines, and five diagonal lines. Did you get the correct answer? If yes, good job. If not, stay tuned, watch, and learn in this video lesson. Learning objective to identify the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. Success criteria. I can identify the horizontal and vertical lines. I can compare the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. I can draw shapes and label the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. And I can explain the horizontal, vertical and diagonal lines in my own words. Do you know what these three words mean? Horizontal, vertical, and diagonal? Time to think. Pause the video and think some examples. Time is up. Now, let's find out. Vertical lines run from top to bottom, or up and down. Take a look at this lamp pose. The pose forms a line that goes from up and down, or top to bottom. This is called a vertical line. Horizontal lines run from side to side just like this horizon, hence it's called horizontal line. Can you think of another example? Diagonal lines run from corner to corner, just like the sides of a triangle or the striped lines here on this pendant jewel. Can you also think of diagonal lines example. Now let's take a look at this activity. Label the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. How many horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines can you count? Pause the video and try the activity. Time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. There are six horizontal lines one here on the top of the chimney one two three four five and six also there are six vertical lines one two two lines on the chimney three and four on the side of the house walls, five and six in every side also of the rectangle. And finally, there are four diagonal lines. One, two diagonal lines in the roof, and three, four, another two lines here on the triangle. Did you get all the correct answers? Great job. Now, let's have our main task. For our main activity, there are three tasks found in your pupil book. Task 1, page 12, challenge 1. Task 2, page 12, challenge 2. And task 3, draw three different shapes in your book draw horizontal lines in blue, vertical lines in red, 
and diagonal lines in green. And for the challenge task, create your own real-life shape by using horizontals, verticals, and diagonal lines. Also, explain in your own words, describing horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. Please make use of our assignment tabs. For today, I will be uploading all the tasks in the assignment. You can work all in there directly. You don't need to scan. You don't need to upload. Just put your answers on the worksheets that's provided. This is the easiest thing to do since we all have problem with the class notebook and the files. And sometimes there's error in our server and also connection problems. This is also an easier for task for the teacher to consolidate who among all the students have passed the work and it could be marked immediately. After you have done with the main activity, you can move to our plenary. You can work on this anytime you like. This could be your practice work at home. You can access this also in the files. Thank you so much and enjoy learning. Always remember, be the best you can.